I'm a bit stoned up. I'm a bit. This is the Liquid HD Foundation. I've just had a quick scrutty and I'm just going to pop it on like one side of my face just to see because I'm too excited to wait and try it tomorrow. It smells quite nice actually. I'm most probably doing like the biggest cardinal sin by using my fingers, but. It's literally just to see the coverage and so like getting a new toy but not being able to play with it <laughs> so and try and go for the half and half it's got it everywhere okay uh -huh. hmm. So obviously, I've not popped it on perfect, but ah, I'm making a mess. Just so we can all see so the coverage from that versus this scabby side. Next, next, um, next. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got brow wax too. Comes in a little box. And it's just uh, impenetrable packaging. It's just a little jar. <laughs> it can be pups. Bits. Now I'm just going to use an old eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to give it a quick clean. It's probably a little bit too thick as well, actually. Hang on. Just going to use this one. This one's been like one of my uber favouritest brushes. I'm making up words now. I got back when Miss Sammy Grover made me a cake for my birthday quite a few years ago. She made me a birthday cake with um, makeup brushes, made a little lipstick, and it's one of the brushes I got from that. And it's been one of the best brushes I have ever ever come across. Don't actually think it's going to do what I want it to, so I'll try this one. I can see why this is so easy and I'd imagine it would be a lot easier if you actually had a brush that was maybe designed for it and you wasn't trying to do it by looking at your reflection in your phone right, but that's that for now, that's that. That's the idea of that one and it generally is, it's really like solid the colour idea for that. Right, next, what else am I excited about? I'm excited about empty, empty. Oh, gel, gel eyeliner, right? Eyeliner. Again, there's another box I can't get into. I love gel eyeliner because it's one of them things. Good dirty fingers now. That I think can make or break a look because I quite like when I'm doing my makeup to always have that black line also because I'm quite messy with my mascara so if I do my eyeshadow and then put the black line over the top of it when I do fuck up my, my mascara it's covered by the gel ooh, by the eyeliner that's there so I can be a bit messy and also because I do makeup on the train quite often that I am bound to get messy Okay, now I'm having an argument of a different kind. I also got this brush, which is an eyeliner detail, eyeliner applicator detail liner. This little, 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 little brush. And there's my, my gel. Again, I don't think this is going to go down all too well because I'm going to try and do it. I'm actually going to use a mirror.
I've forgotten to breathe. <sighs> How'd that do? That... May have gone a little bit messy, but again, I'm too excited. So <laughs> that's the uh, gel liner. I mean, for the little jar that you get, the little jar, you get quite a bit in it, to be fair. And the brush, you're looking at £15.50 for the pair, which I don't think is bad at all, because, I mean, the brush is really, really nice, and that's going to last you a lifetime. Next, what have we got next? I also got, I also got, I also got. So there was this set, it was called um, Contour, Contour Brows and Eyes, I think. Contour Brows and Lashes. Um, for £32, you got the Contour Palette, the Mascara, and you got the Brow Wax for £32.50. So I don't think that's bad at all, really. I'm just going to find a brush for this. Hang on. So I don't think that's a bad price. But, right, so this is this one. I've got my old blusher brush. It's all I can find. Right, so for the basics. Oh, okay. Mm, okay. We've got this up already. It came off a lot more than I thought it would, so. And the fact that the brush I'm using isn't designed for this in the slightest probably doesn't help. <laughs> it's quite odd. I've actually got a little scar there as well, so it is just picking up on my scar. It's really odd doing this on like half a face. Blusher. And then we go for the highlight. I mean, obviously, when the time comes that I have a better brush, or the better equipment, I might end up looking a lot better. Right. Oh, mascara is the only thing I haven't shown you, and this is the thing I'm most excited about. Was £13, now it's £11.50. It has built in fibres, so. Promises to lengthen and volumise. Again, cannot get into the packaging. It's typical, I cut my nails, that's what it is. <laughs> right, get off. So, Ooh. and I might be keep getting distracted because he is also out there working on his car. So while he's working on the car, I'm playing with this, and I can see him, and it's, it's confusing me. But I'm just gonna do one coat. You can layer this. I mean, obviously, this is the first time I've used any of this. So I'm sure after everything, whoop, like everything, once you get used to the product and the way in which it goes on, you can use it to its fullest potential. I know it's not a very exciting view for you guys. Pop it on the bottom as well. Right, 
I want to say I'm mascara messy under there, you'll see what I mean. So, again, oops. mascara on the curtains. When I do do bottom lashes as well, I tend to bring my eyeliner down. So it kind of covers that mess up as well. So we'll just let this dry. So, that's that lot. I also like to wait with my mascara until it's almost dry and then just go along and try and manipulate bits that are there. Right, now I'm finding I'm spending too long playing with it. It was only a test of video. Right, so excuse my hair as well. I've just seen this a little bit. I've yet to find a way of clipping a fringe out of the way, which is nice when you decide you don't actually want it down. Any suggestions for that as well? So, do you know what? After all that... Crappily say, I really quite like them results. They're quite natural as well. Not too... Not, not too in your face and scary, so... Have a good couple of spare catalogues if you're interested please do just send me a message and i shall get a catalog to you as soon as possible um some of the prices in here um vary a little bit because oops, i'm making a mess vary a little bit they are due to getting bring out new catalogues as well so i mean i just confirm with me the price of something it is you like and i confirm can confirm with the website that it's the correct price All right so that's that one, I mean, that's £11.50, that's £11.50, the brow wax off the top of my mind, I honestly cannot remember how much that is, contour palette I think's 20 this little beauty cost me £3.50 I believe it was, um, that's what I mean, oh that's the brow wax, the eyeliner and the brush to give us £15.50, so I don't think that's too bad at all, to be honest. And um, what else have we got over here that's a mess? I think that's about it. So I hope you've enjoyed my quick video. I've been a bit excited to play with this since I've got it. If there's anything you'd like to know, please do let me know. Bye.